Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you guys are doing well. And so I'll be taking you through the latest in terms of the disturbance, which is given a slightly higher chance. So the chance is gradually increasing for it to actually become our next system. And it seems pretty likely that it eventually will. And I'll also be taking you guys through what is expected across the Caribbean and surrounding areas. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update and so guys I want to quickly address something so at the end of my videos there is a reason I say that you can share your thoughts uh, or if you have any questions you can leave them in the comments because I like to be interactive and I love to know when the information that I disseminate is well received so if there is a question that you have if there is something you're experiencing and you want to know why you can always leave that in the comments respectfully what I do not appreciate is disrespectful comments because I do my best to be inclusive and uh, I try as best as I can to give the accurate information out there but we're talking about the weather nonetheless and that is why I even say things such as changes are possible and this is not guaranteed because it isn't we're talking about the weather and the weather changes constantly so I want to get that out there but let's now go on to what is currently happening across the area so uh, we can see that there is quite a bit of activity going on across the main development region and that is in association with a tropical wave out there which is or disturbed to be monitored for development across parts of northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, uh, even Guyana, there is a bit of activity there as well. But a lot of that uh, shower and thunderstorm activity is in Venezuela. Let's zoom into the area here. And so here we can see that there is all of that activity moving in. Just as I mentioned in yesterday's update, all of those showers, thunderstorms would be moving into Honduras and Nicaragua, uh, increasing that flood threat as well. And that is exactly what we're seeing happening in right now now that is in association with a tropical wave uh, that has made its way through the area so it's going to be moving into central america and then uh eventually uh, uh, over into the eastern pacific and uh we even see that there is some cloud cover across parts of jamaica going to the cayman islands cuba hispaniola even in puerto rico but for most of the island it should be a pretty sunny morning similar story across most of the lesser antilles going down to trinidad tobago and the abc islands uh not a whole lot happening there however there is another tropical wave which is entering and that might help to uh, kick up that rainfall chance for some spots not a whole lot of rainfall but uh, there might be some rainfall across some areas uh, and we're not talking about a major tropical wave here we're not talking about a robust tropical wave as what we see over in the western caribbean so uh, that is what is expected guys and so going on to the rainfall total maps here starting out with gfs uh, the map gets very colorful as we head to central america parts of western cuba florida even going to grand bahama as well so we see that in those areas some substantial Potential rainfall is likely again those very heavy downpours down in parts of uh, Honduras and Nicaragua, which can result in flooding. It will likely result in flooding across those flood prone areas. And uh, we also see that going to Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, some substantial rainfall is also likely across some areas. And then again, over in the Lesser Antilles, uh, there might be that isolated activity as a result of that tropical wave moving by. And the Euro is in agreement with this here, but not showing as much rainfall for parts of Central. America. Nonetheless, uh, there could be some substantial rainfall which can trigger flooding. Also, for northern South America, Colombia, Venezuela, Guyana, even going over into Suriname, there might be some activity as well. And then I'll go into the northern islands, going to Cuba, the Cayman Islands, Jamaica, Hispaniola, uh, Puerto Rico, the Virgin Islands, going to uh, most of the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. There could be some isolated activity. Uh, and uh, looking up to the northwestern Bahamas and parts of Florida, some substantial rainfall is still expected within the area uh, as a result of the passage of that weak trough and uh, things have improved since Wednesday and yesterday so there was a lot of activity before but things are slowly clearing up looking down to the ABC Islands unfortunately it is going to be a pretty sunny day and it's going to be pretty dry as well especially for rainfall lovers like myself there isn't going to be much rainfall for you guys through today and so now let's go ahead and take a look at the main development region and here we have or disturbance 
uh, which is not yet designated as an invest. It should be, though, it will eventually become Invest 96L. But here we're seeing all this shower and thunderstorm activity in association with it. Now, as of the latest from NHC, we're seeing that it is given a 50% chance of development, expected to move to the west and then make that west-northwest return, uh, missing the Caribbean. And so this might not be a direct threat to the area. Uh, but again, things can change. There might be some changes here and there, but there is some consistency in the expected track of it. Let's go on to what models have to show. And we're starting out with Euro. And we can see that Euro has this gradually trying to get itself together. Uh, but moving on that northwest we're track as we head into early next week uh, and intensifying as it continues up to the north, not being a problem for anyone. And so going on to the GFS model now, GFS is expecting something similar here where we see that gradual intensification and that northwest we're track. So notice that these models are not expecting it to become uh, to come very close to the Caribbean. And then finally going on to Icon, uh, we can see that similar story yet again. So we have some consistency in the expected track of this. We're seeing that all of these models are not taking the system close to the Caribbean, but nonetheless, it is still good to pay attention to what is happening with it. And I will continue to cover it as time goes by. But uh, there is still some dry air around, but it might pull through and actually manage to become something within the coming days. And I am expecting that it will become our next name storm. So uh, let's see what happens with it. And I will be keeping you guys posted as time goes by and so uh, that is what I wanted to share with you in this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments I will respond as best and as soon as I can and remember to always be weatherwise.